for the litany this evening. Um, our children are going to help us to learn that as they chant the, the congregational parts. So again, uh, for this evening, you'll simply listen as, uh, as myself and the children uh, chant these, each of the uh, versicles in the litany. But we will rise for prayer. <clears throat> In peace, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for President Harrison, President Murley, for all pastors in Christ, for all servants of the church, and for all the people, let us pray to the Lord. For President Obama, for all public servants, for the government and those who protect us, that they may be upheld and strengthened in every good deed, let us pray to the Lord. For those who work to bring peace, justice, health, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. For those who bring offerings, those who do good works in this congregation, those who toil, those who sing, and all the people here who pre present who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. For the faithful who have gone before us and are with Christ, let us give thanks to the Lord. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all the saints, let us commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O Lord God, the life of all the living, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, the repose of the blessed dead. Grant us a powerful night from, free from all disturbance that here after a time of quiet slumber we may be your, by your goodness be endued in the new day with the guidance of your Holy Spirit and enabled in peace to render thanks to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. amen. And taught by our Lord and trusting in his promises, we are bold to pray, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
please join in the responses. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to the Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit preserve you. Amen. All right, well, um, we're very grateful that all of you could be here tonight, and um, I think next, next week we'll go ahead and sing those parts all together. My hope and my goal is that you were kind of chomping at the bit, wanting to jump in and sing along, and, so, uh, and I think we'll uh, be able to do that next week and, and be real comfortable with that, and as we do, uh, we'll get more and more familiar with this, this liturgy. It's a beautiful liturgy, and, and we'll continue to um, layer on all of the different aspects of it. Uh, we want to say thank you to the, the Helping Hands group who gave us a wonderful meal this evening. Next week, is our, our PTL will be up, and uh, I know they've got some special things planned as well. Uh, so we hope that you can be here for the meal. It starts at 6 this year rather than 6.15, um, and then our service at 7, and we'll continue uh, looking at the way that the, the Sadducees were looking for a king at that time. And, uh, and we'll have another children's message, and we'll see whatever that might bring as well. We look forward to that. Well, uh, we want you to take time to greet one another before you leave. Uh, God's peace be with you.